Ladies and gentlemen, and this is your dude Banshee bringing you another video in Let's 100% Elder Scrolls 5 Skyrim Episode 9. Already on Episode 9 here in this series, and it feels like we've done so much, but yet so little. Um, today we are going to be finishing up the Thieves Guild as much as we can. So the Thieves Guild should be done within the next two episodes, other than your little side missions with Delvin and Vex. So the way that I suggest you do your side missions with Delvin and Vex is you do both of them at the same time. Each time you travel back and forth while you're doing other missions, just so it's not as tedious. Uh, that is how I do it. That's how I get my special missions. Um, it takes a little bit of time because I think it's like 20, 20 quests uh, total to get your special mission each time. So it's like over 100 side quest missions to fully upgrade the Thieves Guild with all the shopkeepers. All right, with that said, let's see where we have to go. All right, Carlisle believes the only proof that could expose Mercer's treachery can be found within the pages of Gallus' journal, which she recovered from the Snowbell Sanctum. Unfortunately, the journal is written in some sort of code that needs to be deciphered. Our only hope is Enthir, one of Carlisle and Gallus' acquaintances, who is a wizard at the College of Winterhold. So let's see where we have to go. Winter hold. All right, so we have not traveled there yet, and I don't want to run there. So the first thing we're gonna go to this stables, and then we'll just pay to travel to go there. But as I see here, we do have a level up, so let's use that level up. Um, we're gonna hit Camna uh, for a little bit more carry weight, and let's see here. Smithing. Oh man, we have not done anything in smithing. Okay. You can hit anything that you would like. Alright, so I need. What does this have to be? 50 for adept and then 60 and 70. Okay. Alright, so we have that uh, sneak. I'm gonna get this for deadly aim. Yes. And then the only other thing I'll put into sneak is this. This for stealth, muffled, and lightfoot. Everything else is kind of like useless, in my opinion. All right, so let's go here to the grab some snowberries if we can, because we love our snowberries. I can take you to any of the holes. Where do you want to go? Winter hold. Now I have to fight a fucking dragon. Do I? Or it's gonna let me? Oh yes. Sorry. I did not want to waste time fighting a dragon. Sorry guys. I want to get as much of this done as possible today. This is gonna be taking some time because there's a lot of dialogue. I'm sorry. Could you describe the smell? Unless you're bringing me another round, you can just and then exploded walking. it. What did you do? It was a minor miscalculation. Can I help you with anything else? I've been sent by Carlia. Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? Yes, but there's a problem. A problem? Let me see it. Ah, oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. Can you translate it? No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this I journal translated. Elf, Word of warning. Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. I don't want Iris playing those sorts of games. Why did Gallus scribe his journal in Falmer? Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people in Tamriel that even recognize the language, 
I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Where did he acquire the knowledge to use it? Ironically, I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. What can you tell me about Gallus? He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of Academia. I was devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. He was an academic, yet he chose a different path. Why? For the thrill, of course. He was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. Who would it? How did you meet him? Ah, uh, yes, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? What exactly is a Palmer? Besides the fact that there are only a handful of people... Oh. I hate when that happens. Sadly, I'm sorry, we never guys. had the op ironic. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. What exactly is a Falmer? In the time before man, they were known as the Snow Elves. They lived in the sunlight and had a very prosperous society. So they were like your kind. Like the Altmer? Yes, I would say their culture quite possibly rivaled our own. <laughs> What drove them underground? The Nords went to war with the Falmer in the First Era. Killed them by the thousands to drive them from their snowy homeland. The Falmer retreated underground and forged an uneasy alliance with the Dwarves who ended up betraying them. This betrayal made them what they are now. Horrible, blind monstrosities with a burning hatred of any but their own kind. You appear to despise them. Why shouldn't I? The Falmer have killed more than a fair share of my acquaintances. They're animals. They show absolutely no pity or remorse. If you wish to learn more about them, you're welcome to my tome on the subject. It should be on my table. All right. Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. Calselmo. All right. I don't think we've been to Mark. Have we? No. What is the closest stable? So we're going to go to the Solitude stable. It doesn't really change which stable you use, honestly. They're, it's all going to be the same price. It's all the same price. Need a ride? Yes. Can take you to any of the whole where do you want to go mark hearth climb and back and we'll be off ever been to mark Arth? some say it was built by the dwarves i don't believe a word of it though hmm. Here. Now just take everything that you want that he has. He's dead. Same with this lady. And we're gonna take her house. Key. It's 
So we don't have to break in if we want to go in there later. So let's see where we have to go. We have to go all the way up this way. To the palace. Okay. Understood keep. What are you hiding, priest? I'm not hiding anything. It's closed for a reason. Typical imperial lies. First, you take away towers. Now you're keeping us from seeing our honored dead? You and the Jarl will answer for any desecration of my ancestors' bodies. That's enough, Thongbor. We're done. Yeah. Somebody's not happy. This is Dwarven Armored Mud Crab. Alright, that's pretty cool. Yeah, what Selma. What are you doing here? The excavation site is closed. I don't need any more workers or guards. I was looking for you, actually. I told you I'm not hiring any more guards. Why do you people always bother me when I'm trying to finish my research? You idiot! Do you even know who I am? The most recognized scholar on the Dwemer in all of Tamriel. And you people keep bothering me. I... I'm sorry, I... I got too excited. I'm in the middle of some very stressful work. And I, and I shouldn't have yelled. How can I help you? I hear you're the authority on ancient Balmer. Then you were well informed. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Former Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. Perhaps I could view your work? Preposterous. That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. Now, out of all of these, I don't think we're going to be able to, but, uh, yeah. I've never been able to, so, uh, but I'm a great admirer of your work. While I appreciate the sentiment, I still have to decline. Being an admirer, I'm sure you can appreciate the need to keep my research a secret. What will it cost to change your mind? I'm not certain how many scholars you're accustomed to dealing with, but I can assure you that personal wealth is our lowest priority. And I didn't save it, but we'll try this one too. Do you Grant me access or you'll regret snap it. of my fingers, I can bring the entire Markarth city guard to my defense. You best rethink this course of action, or you may find yourself on the executioner's block. Forget it. I'll come back later. Very well. Perhaps when my research is complete, I'll feel more comfortable discussing my findings with you. This better be important. I'm gonna try and steal his key here, but I don't know if we'll be able to. Great. Now we don't have to pick any locks if we don't have to, which is perfect. Make it go a lot faster. But this part is a little tricky because you have to sneak past the Four. guard. The Dwemer Museum isn't open to anyone without the court wizard's permission. Why can't I go in? Because Council Moore doesn't want anyone to go in. He runs the museum. He makes the rules. You have a problem with that? Go talk to him. You'll find him in front of the ruins during the day, just down the tunnel. And then he leaves you alone. Sneak. Open the door with our key. I'm gonna take a quick save. Because we gotta walk past some guards here. We gotta stay undetected. Yeah. 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 
entire expedition team. He said he needed every man he could get. So it's best to just do it while they're talking. Go all the way around. And we got right there. Smart man. Now, come along with us. We'll take any stolen goods. And that's why we're gonna load. And we're gonna try this again, but we're gonna remember that that guy is right there. And he's looking. What a waste. There must be a dozen men up there. Yeah. Tell Selmo called in his entire expedition team. He said he needed every man. It's that guy right there that we all look out for. Alright, so he's facing that way, right? Wait for him to turn. Come back this way. Kabang. All through. There's a staff in here, so you're gonna wanna come in here. Gems. And take their gems and their dwarven oil. Or, you know, out. All right. Don't have that key, but we do have to go this way. And there's a bunch of people in here, so uh, be careful. I'm glad I got that three times. You can take whatever you guys want, but pretty much the iron helmet's the only thing in this room that I remember being valuable other than the people that you kill. So I'm going to search the left here first. And I'm going to take his line. And I'm going to search this. Nothing in my use, but I do want that salt. And the alchemy ingredients. And there's nothing in there, so I don't know why I put it. Right. Take uh helmet, the boots, the gongs, the arrows. Okay. I do not want to take that heavy armor. Too heavy for me to carry at this point in time. Uh just a regular door right. Yes, this is the bedroom. Took all the valuable stuff that I want. I just want your gold, bro. Where's your gold at? There it is. Pack this so we can steal his books. Sell these. Because they're pretty light. I don't think that. 13, so. Get that. See if there's anything in here. No. Another key. Hold. Let's 
scrolls, poison. All right. On to the next room. right there. Come on, man. Come on. You know where it's at. It's right there. There we go. There we go. Alright, this is the tricky part. Oh, honeycombs. Okay. I just picked up iron arrows. I do not want iron arrows. Yeah. Still, we don't want that trash. Alright, so as you heard them talking, you go down here, you're gonna die because there's a poisonous gas being released. Now, there is a way to turn it off, but I. standing on this but it doesn't last for very long so it's not worth going and trying to uh, grab everything because there's like different pressure plates throughout if you guys do know the solution to that puzzle please leave a, a comment down below for the community but I don't want to waste my time on that here today. I want to get this section done. And if I remember, yes. Uh, we can grab these more there. I don't want to grab the armor because it's just too heavy. Um, I know that if there's a chest, I think it's over here. Pretty sure the chest is over this way. It's behind here, yep. And it's a master lock, so you can pause the video to unlock this. If you're playing along, I do encourage you to play along with. You don't miss out on anything. Oh, right there, too far. Just a little touch. Just a teeny bit. Alright, we got silver armor. 40. Braces of alchemy. I want those. That, that. I'll take the armor, and if I gotta drop anything, that's the first thing I'm dropping is that silver. Just because it's worth 400. Fine. There's gonna be quite a few people in here if I remember. I think it's like four. Alright. 
think there's two other people in this room over there. Yeah, at least there's one more guy. I remember correctly, but I know there's a chest over this way. Yeah. Coin purse, this. Maybe that was the coin purse that I was thinking of. Chest. Yeah. Yeah. Kill battle axe over this way if you want that. It's too heavy for me to carry. What am I thinking of the chest? It's gotta be a different room that I'm thinking of. All these dwarven rooms look similar for me. I've played this game so many damn times, it's kind of all of a blur. I like to get them with fire. Let me activate that valve again. All right, so we have some gold, ruby. Sapphire necklace, some robes, gold ring, silver ring. Yeah, the guy had some good stuff. Take that book, it's worth 20, and then this should be a skill book. Yep, chanting, perfect. We'll take that. A lot of chest. Take that. I'm gonna disenchant everything that I have here. I can't disenchant anything. Alright. Perfect. All stuff I can sell later on. Alright, now this. We want this to get the Delvin. And, um,. This is where we started. You could have skipped everything if you found if you got that key. And it's not a chest. Some gems over here that I want to grab. And some wine. Lost legend. Is that? There's a legend book that will get you to the um, Red Eagle Sword, which is a unique item, so I like to get all the unique items each playthrough to line my house with, you know, on display. So I'm just a master of the game. Alright, so right here. Oh, this is the part that gets real tricky, real fast. No one's going to show up until we steal the stuff. So do everything beforehand. So you want paper and you want charcoal. But I need to do all of the looting over this way. It's worth 15 to take that. See so you in the it depends on which book, like, you can grab some interesting stuff. But... That's not to do anything to disenchant. Don't want to make any spells right now. No. Yes, potions. Wheat. Snow berries. I 
chest. I know that this isn't the chest that I was thinking of. I, so many dwarven caves and caverns and stuff. It's uh, hard to remember which ones I'm thinking of. Go. Conjuring, Amos, all of that. That's all good stuff for me. Great, great, great. We did everything in here. All right. All right, we're going to take that stuff. Yeah. Master Assassin. Go. All dead. Let's see how much we don't have much left. Oh, Orcish sword. Here's X. Yeah, loot everybody else too. So it looks like the gold and the daggers. There we go. All right. All done here. Hate this part. So I would definitely suggest saving. And then you're gonna jump down. Right? No, you can't jump down this one. This isn't the one you jump down. Think of it something else. Alright, think of a different place. So you have to go all the way back through, and you have to sneak past the, uh, the guards. And they changed up their routine and pattern. So, quick save here, so here. Where are these people at? Alright, there's one guy there. In that way, looking straight up this way. We're gonna go to the left. Go left. Go left. Go left. Go left. Keep going, man. Keep going. Keep going. Oh, that's no good. Ah. All right. I'm trying to think here. I don't want to go that way because that guy is looking that way. Where does he go? That guy looks that way. This guy comes this way. Does that guy turn around? Is that way? If this guy gets us every time. Alright. Figure something out here. Alright. Gonna have to see. I'm gonna have to duck into that room. I don't want I just wanna walk past and walk through. I don't wanna have to duck in anywhere. 
Put some more time consuming, you have to wait. Just impatient. This guard should be popping up any second. Where's he at? Save that. Alright, man, come on, move. I don't know if he's past me, he's gonna catch me. Come on, man. Move. See that guy's moving back and forth. It's supposed to go to the right? I uh, made diversion. Alright. Great. That's the way you do it. Make a diversion. It's thinking in my head, like, I wish I had a rock to throw or something like that, but do an arrow. Back to Enthar. See what he has to say. I don't deal with any college applicants these days, so don't bother asking. Was there something else? This should help you translate Gallus' journal. I suppose it would be inappropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. A rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. It's quite the tale. I understand. Now, let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Highly disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enther? Anything about the Nightingales? Hmm. Uh, 
Yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us, so it's true. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Antha. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Antha. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Hmm? Listen. All I want is the truth to be revealed to the Guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. Thank you, Anthar. If you ever manage to gain entry to the college and you find trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becoming a burden, come visit me. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. If you have further need of me, we must you hasten can find to Riften before college. Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. Gallus's journal mentioned the Twilight Sepulcher. You've come this far, so I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulcher is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. What does it require? Why does it require that type of protection? Everything that represents Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal and defiled the very thing he swore to protect. Thieves and temples, it just doesn't add up. I felt the same way when Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think given time you'll understand what I mean. I'd understand better if less mystery was involved. As a Nightingale, I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the Sepulchre. I know the Guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. Very well. We do it your way for now. I'll make for Riften and scout the situation, see if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. I'll put it to good use. If the Guild isn't willing to listen to reason, you might have to. So did Delvin send you again, or are you here on your own this time? I'm assuming you're here for more than a social call. What are we giving me for these? I've got these coin, stuff. and I've got merchandise. Let's see what we can do. What do you have? You got lockpicks? Alright, I'll need lockpicks. What? Dude. Oh, a bit of this, a bit of that. I have potions. Nothing good. We have books you got. Eh. I'm gonna sell you my junk that I don't want. Give my regards to Carlia if you see her. Now we're gonna go make haste to Riften. And figure out what the guild's gonna do when Carlia shows up. To I'd the say ragged just about flag. anything if it's worth my time. Keep that in mind. Plus we got quite a good amount of uh What's the term in here at the record point? So we're gonna travel there. Got some stuff that we can sell there since that dude was out of money.
No? You're not gonna catch a butterfly, man? Love me? Okay. you're here. I think some of these people are beginning to suspect who I am. Are you ready to face the guild? I'm ready. Let's go. Keep your eyes open. I'm not sure what to expect when we enter the system. I'm not following her. She can follow me. I ain't no follower. I'm a leader. Welcome to the cozy little family. I'm one of the lookouts for the guild. I watch Delvin's back. You better have a damn good reason to be here with that murderer. Please, lower your weapons so we can speak. I have proof that you've all been misled. No tricks, Carlia, or I'll cut you down where you stand. Now what's this so-called proof you speak of? I have Gallus's journal. I think you'll find its contents disturbing. Let me see. No, it can't be. This can't be true. I've known Mercer too long. It's true, Brynjolf. Every word. Mercer's been stealing from the guild for years, right under your noses. There's only one way to find out if what the lass says is true. Delvin, I'll need you to open the vault. Wait just a blessed moment, Bryn. What's in that book? What did it say? It says Mercer's been stealing from our vault for years. Gallus was looking into it before he was murdered. How could Mercer open up a vault that needs two keys? It's impossible. Could he pick his way in? That door has the best puzzle locks money can buy. There's no way it can be picked open. He didn't need to pick the lock. What's she all about? Use your key on the vault, Delvin. We'll open it up and find out the truth. I've used my key, but the vault's still locked up tight out of the drum. Now use yours. Men of truth. Right, the eight. It's gone. Everything's gone. Get in here, all of you. The gold. The jewels. It's all gone. Yeah, it's that all gone. Bitch. The I'll three tomatoes. Vex, put it away. Right now. We can't afford to lose our heads. We need to calm down and focus. Do what he says, Vex. This ain't helping right now. Fine. We do it your way. For now. Delvin, Vex, watch the flagon. If you see Mercer, come tell me right away. Look, before I help you track Mercer down, I need to know what you learned from Carlia. I mean, everything. Gallus, Carlia, and Mercer were nightingales. What? Nightingales? But I always assumed they were just a tale. A way to keep the young footpaths in line. Was there anything else she told you? Carlia was behind Golden Glow and Hunting Brew. Trying to make Mercer look bad in front of Maven, eh? Clever lass. Was there anything else? Mercer killed Gallus, not Carlia. I, I feared that was the case. From that last entry in Gallus's diary, it looks like he was getting close to exposing Mercer to the guild. Anything else? That's it. Then I have an important task for you. I need you to break into Mercer's home and search for anything that could tell us where he's gone. He has a house in Ripton? Aye. 
A gift from the Black Briars after they kicked a previous family out. A place called Riftweald Manor. He never stays there, just pays for the upkeep on it. Hired some lout by the name of Bold to guard the place. I'll take care of it. Be careful, lad. This is the last place in Skyrim I'd ever want to send you. Just find a way in, get the information, and leave. And you have permission to kill anyone that stands in your way. What's the best way to get into Riftweld Manor? Good question. I've only set foot inside a few times myself, and that was in Mercer's company. If you can get past his trained watchdog, I think your best bet might be the ramp to the second floor balcony in his backyard. You don't suppose the ramp is easy to access? No. It's some sort of crazy contraption Mercer commissioned for quick escapes. I'd wager a well-placed shot at the ramp's mechanism would lure it in a hurry. Alright. Careful at Mercer's place. I don't want to lose anyone else to that madman. Turn this stuff into Vex and Delvin. We'll go off to Mercer's. And we'll figure out what else, what next episode will entail for us. Control blog. Ooh, nicely done. Here's your share. Well, well. I was looking for this little beauty. If you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this, be sure to bring them to me. I promise it'll be worth the effort. It's worth quite a bit, actually. Quite a catch. There you go. It should make you smile. Oh, yeah, that makes me smile. Good. My clients are getting impatient. Right, give me a number, Have a job. client looking to have a... Nice. Yeah, Great. this is what you'll need I to heard what happened. Much time and to the guild you. owes you thanks. If I see Thray, I'll pluck his eyes from him. Amazing what people leave laying around for us. Got more than you can handle. Got a shop owner with a very choice... All right, take this and get out of here. There's no doubt, Mer Why don't you take a look at some of my merchandise and we'll see what kind of deal we can make. Is uh, so this is great. I like this sword, it's unique, but it's no katana. I want to get rid of that. I'll get rid of that. That and that. Just regular gold ring, silver ring. Rules are more important, even though they weigh less, but get more for them. Books. If you find right. Mercer, give no quarter. We could use someone Kill with him your and skills. Be done with it. Oh, thanks for the confidence, Bill. Alright. Mercer's house. Finish this up, come back, talk to the guild, and just call it a night. I'm 
Oh man. Come on, man. Mercer's house key. Lord of Maze, I'll take that. Hide this. I'm gonna take everything you got. How about that? Even took your luck. Don't want that. Let's shoot this mechanism. Go. Let's see what we got up here. Oh, there's somebody down here. Where are you? You got the table? Nope. That's the table. Aha! To the owner. To the owner of Riftweed Manor. Rough Weld Manor. I'm not accustomed to working under these conditions of secrecy, but your generous compensation for the inconvenience was more than adequate to complete the project. Both the balcony ramp and the floor mechanism were an interesting project, and I hope you'll find them functional functioning to your surprisingly specific sp specifications if you should have any further needs for my talent please call on me again Cothinius Nandor okay Money and I like wine. Money and wine. Money and suspicious cabinet. Aha. Alright. We'll go that way in a second. I want to grab this body and what else we can grab. Oops. This job doesn't pay.
Perfect. All right, let's go see what this hot, hidden passageway was all about. Miss chips. Okay, I'll take all of that. Oh my stuff! Jeez, I had stuff on. fingers. There we go. Oh, so close. Right, so it's just a little bit further. There we go. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Mercer's plan, all the gold, red kitchen, take that, many thanks, M. Come on, I'm trying to read. Not certain how you managed to get your hands on that item we discussed, but I'm more than pleased. I thought you'd simply wait until it was being transported from Castle Dorn to its final destination, but according to what I've heard, it vanished right from their armory. I wish I knew how you were able to slip by the guards, bypass the Percolis, unlock the armory door, and break into that dwarven puzzle. Locke's chest. You need to teach me that little trick sometime. I've left your cut in the usual drop spot and might have another job for you soon. R. Okay. So he's doing side jobs. Alright, so this is a unique item. I'm going to grab that for sure. Just because it is a unique item and it is a weapon that you get in oblivion. Chest. I think we'll be able to unlearn that one. Alright. Take this. Great box. Rat weight bolts. Back to the ragged flag. What? all your shit though man yeah Let's sell it cultural blog gotta keep my eyes open for bursa found this bus of the great box worth anything well well i was looking for this little beauty if you happen to cross any other unusual trinkets like this be sure to bring them to me 
I promise it'll be worth the effort. I promise. Must have come from Mercer's place. He'd admired the Great Fox for some time. Sure, I'll buy it from you. Here you are. I need to know. Perfect. This is getting dangerous. Don't let anything get After a jump on you. Alright, bring you off where you at. We've scoured the town and I've spoken to every contact we have left. No sign of Mercer. Any luck on your end? He wasn't there, but I found these plans. Shore's beard. He's going after the eyes of the Falmer? That was Gallus's pet project. If he gets his hands on them, you can be certain he'll be gone for good and set up for life. So we have to stop him. Agreed. He's taken everything the guild has left, and to go after one of the last greatest heists is just an insult. I've spoken to Carlia and made amends for how the guilds treated her. Now she wishes to speak with both of us. Quickly, we have no time to lose. Until next we meet, Lyle. Alright, here's Not now, Lyle. Carlia said it was important. I promise you, all your questions will be answered. You just have to trust me. Brynjolf, the time has come to decide Mercer's fate. Until a new guildmaster is chosen, the decision falls to you. Aye, lass. And I've come to a decision. Mercer Frey tried to kill both of you. He betrayed the guild, murdered Gallus, and made us question our future. He needs to die. You have to be very careful, Brynjolf. Mercer is a nightingale, an agent of nocturnal. It's all true. Everything I heard in the stories. The Nightingales, their allegiance to Nocturnal, and the Twilight Sepulchre. That's why we need to prepare ourselves and meet Mercer on equal footing. Just outside of Rifton, beyond the southeast gate is a small path cut up the mountainside. At the end of that path is a clear and an old standing stone. I'd ask you both to meet me then. Perfect. I'm preparing to leave for the Standing Stone. What is it? Alright. Ladies and gentlemen, we came to an ending of Episode 9. Let's play Elder Scrolls V Skyrim. Please leave a comment down below. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell every time. So you are notified every time I put out a new video in the series. This is your dude Banshee signing out. You all have a blessed night. Peace.